Hi everybody, welcome back. I hinted at a, a fix for my flip up license plate and you're gonna see that today. Stay tuned. So today we're gonna be changing out my plate holder from the lift style that bent on me to stow and show. So it hooks on over the fair lead and then you can simply take it off as needed. So the way this one works is it goes over the fair lead, the plate holds on the front and then when you want to take your plate off to use your wrench, you pull it and off comes your license plate. So you can see on my folding bracket where everything got bent from the car wash so it's all rusting. Anyways, it's going to be trash when I'm done with it. So now I'm just going to take off my plate. So we got the plate off the old one. Now it's time to mount the bolts and uh, lock nuts. So I'm gonna... The nuts it comes with are famous forever missing 10 millimeter. So now that it's all mounted up, it's time to take off the fair lead. So I'll just have to take off the two big bolts for the fair lead. So before I do anything more, I'm going to take off the clutch for the winch. Give myself some slack. So I'm just going to take out the cotter pin and take the hook off. Uh, a remote hook up for the winch, but it was buried below my bumper because I couldn't flip it over because these were in the way. I don't need these anymore for the plate, so I'm going to cut them off. We're going to flip it over and I'm going to be able to remotely activate my winch with this. Okay, so I got that other plate off. We're going to go and secure it in the... back on the tabs are cut off now I can put it in this way and then the winch back through it and that's gonna work perfectly and now I have access oh, you see that? now I'll have access <laughs> I can't hold the camera at the same time okay so I learned the hard way that you should put the stone show bracket on before you try and mount the fair lead in a tight location like where it goes in on a hidden winch mount. It's a very tricky location. All right, so that's installed. And the idea is to take it off, use your winch. When you're done, and you're off the trails, where you're gonna be. Plate goes back on. So with the plate on, I realize there's too much of a gap here. So I'm going to attempt to modify it to not stick out quite so far off the truck. So I figure I'll take off about one and a quarter. It'll still stick out a wee bit, but not too much. Okay, so here's my modification. I'm gonna give it a try and see how it fits. 
Perfect. Locks into place. It's not coming out and it's not sticking out nearly as far. Okay, I really want my license plate cover to fit on, but uh, I don't know if you can see that, but these things are really thick so the bolts are fitting. So I'm gonna just dribble them down. Off of okay, so here we are with the finished product. I shortened the stems. It's all ready to go. Plates on. I modified the plastic cover so it fits as well, so there's no sharp, sharp edges. I'm gonna slide it in. And I'm gonna lock it on. And if the cameraman can look closely, you can see that it's nice and snug. And the one benefit to this is that I have long fingers and I can reach in and release it. But anybody with small fingers is going to have a real hard time getting in there to take my plate off. So that should be a, a great side effect of unwanted removal of my license plate. There we go. It's in the factory location. Winch is hidden. Okay, so we wrapped up. The stow and show license plate install. That's what it looks like outside in the wild. I'm loving it. I think it looks great. It looks factory. And it comes off when I'm so ready. That's my video. Once again, please subscribe if you haven't already and give me a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching.